Tate Town. <laughs> New into stock we have an Alfa Romeo Giulietta 1.4 TB Multi Air Sportiva. It's a five door, it's a 2013 on the 13 plate. It's, it's absolutely beautiful condition. Great color combination. I think this is called 8C Red Metallic, um, but I could be wrong. It's done just over 33,000 miles. The fuel economy, uh, urban 36.2, extra urban 61.4, and uh, combined is 48.7. Not 60 time of 7.8 seconds. Top speed of 135 miles per hour out of 170 brake horsepower engine, 16 valves. Did I say take 10? I meant. I meant take 11. So, this car has got a few nice extras on it as well. It's got uh, this uh, front law spoiler. It's got the darker gray grill. On the side here, we've got the clover leaf badges and it's got the dark titanium finish, five hole alloy wheels with red calipers. Door mirrors, carbon fiber casing, satin aluminium door handles, rear privacy glass and we've got the chrome window surround. Just dispose of this. Inside the back is like brand new as well. There's also, it's got an Alfa Romeo fitted um, plastic load liner, ski hatch, rear load cover, the rear seat split 60-40 uh, and fold down. It's a little electric boot release there, the switch, nicely concealed. Rear privacy glass again on, on the back reversing sensors, we've got a rear diffuser, and I think those are the um, oversized exhaust tips. I'll just show you in the back. The back seats are like brand new, finished in leather, beautiful red contrast stitching. We've got a ski hatch here, which uh, will load through, and also this uh, Rear armrest, Alfa Romeo, very, very nicely finished. So two cup holders there and the uh, armrest. It's, it's, it's absolutely immaculate, it really is. It's got the uh, Overmats 2, it's got this kind of gloss black, piano black cap into the door here and the uh, aluminium handles. Just take you for a drive in it. As I say, we've got the uh, sports leather interior with the contrast red stitching. Same around the steering wheel. It, uh, it really is a. The Italian cars are really, really well finished off, as you'd expect the, the, from the, the standing point of view. Just like everything else they do. Uh, we've got a full service history. We've got some service invoices as well, and. Uh, 29th of 3rd, 2016 at 11688. It was done at Arnold Clark Alfa Romeo. 23,469 on the 12th of the 1st, 2017 at Evans Holshaw. Then it was done 30th of the 5th, 2017 at 25678. But there, the 72,000 mile service was done, including the cam belt and also water pump. So very important, it was only done uh, five, well, sorry, it's done 33,139 miles now. So just less than 8,000 miles ago. Then 30th of the 5th, 2018, it was done at Wharton Garage Limited. So there we go, proper service book and some uh, invoices as well to go with it. The full handbook pack with everything in it. So again, it's always good to see a car as clean as this, with all the book pack and everything. It's it's just a it's a beautiful thing. 
front central armrest there with a little storage com compartment cup holders we've got there we go that's electric door mirrors just get those into position before we set off yep that's it and uh, let's just see height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well that's I don't think that's ever been moved there's just everything about it um, even to the little plaque in the center there the Alfa Romeo design center this this car's also got the um, clover leaf badges on the front wings somebody spent a few quid on accessories for it obviously just to finish it off and, and the subtle touches the nice touches it, it doesn't look like whoever's just driven down to Halfords and been around the shelves and stuck everything on it's uh, it's it's well thought out and well done Alfa Romeo's are one of my favorite cars favorite models and uh, pretty much always have been since I was a kid it's got the best alloy wheels on it on this the best design in my opinion as well really finishes it off it's got uh, color-coded side skirts it's got the matte black chin spoiler at the front front the matte black diffuser at the back great handling and the uh, multi-air engine which is more economical and more powerful than the other 1.4 engine um, really nice to drive very very comfortable I always fit in Alfa Romeo's like a glove for some reason nice and quiet no noises Mistake of trying to set off in fourth again, doesn't like it. Proper handbrake as well. It's got Blue and Me audio system, so Bluetooth hands free, and uh, I'll show you how to pair your phone a little bit later and put a link in the video. in the tour egg up there looked like he was going to do something desperate he was trying to put his glasses on while he was driving and steering with his elbow he's probably trying to get in front of this lorry So 
but it's also got the dark finish aluminium inset to the dash we've got the uh, Alfa Romeo crest there embroidered into the headrest this uh, lorry's spoiling my little jaunt around the roundabout got the DNA switch as well which is common on most Alfa Romeos dynamic natural and all weather modes or weather sets you off or lets you set off more gradually instead of spinning the wheels lovely sound for a, a 1.4 engine a long time ago we took a, a little Alpha Sud in and that I think that was a 1250 cc engine and it I used to go out in it every chance I could I could get lovely little thing six-speed gearbox just uh, flip that into DNA that's natural that's D there as soon as you put it in D the accelerator becomes more responsive and uh, revs higher and you're away into the line around the bend there The instrument cluster you've got uh, speedo on the left fuel gauge cool and temperature gauge your information display at the bottom there and then rev counter on the right multifunction steering wheel we've also got cruise control down here which I should have tested before but forgot heated seats and the climate control display here it's a digital display in the center and rotary dials just about every other gear tunnel I've seen in uh, in any other car is all symmetrical but the uh, the Alfa Romeo here it's uh, kind of plastic on that side then piano black on that side but it, it's it's a work of art The uh, cloverleaf badges were adopted when uh, one of the Alfa Romeo racing drivers kept coming in second and he painted a four-leaf clover on his door and won that race so it's been adopted ever since.
it's um, an extremely nice little car and in all honesty I don't think we're asking enough for it it's a bargain Indicators on the left here, along with your headlight switch on the end of the indicators, wipers on the right. Nice, almost looks like a blue metallic gear knob with the Alfa Romeo Serpent on the top there and six speeds power socket here Okay.